Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates, and I thought today I would kick off another little, if we could even call it part of my moving vlog series, I guess that's probably how I'm gonna title this, just because I've had these videos going for a while, but this is gonna be a decorating video for my apartment that I have lived in since January, but somehow we're still not done. We have had shelves that we need to hang that are sitting on the ground in the living room that have been there for two months, and we just haven't done it. I don't know why, I don't know why. We're gonna do it. The past couple of days, I've gotten a couple packages that have to do with home decor stuff and just some changes I'm making, so I thought that we would do another one of these videos. I'm gonna be doing a closet tour, so I'm keeping this part brief, but I got some hooks for my closet room that I'm going to switch out a section of. I'll show you guys in a second um, and actually hang my jeans up there. So in this room, I have clothes separated into a bunch of sections. I'm going to switch out this section, which is just like some nicer dresses over here and hang these in my closet in my actual bedroom because A, this doesn't take up much space. This space could be used a lot more efficiently, like this rack, for example. But I bought these hooks to hang jeans on because I have so many pairs of jeans and I used to have those stacked down here. That wasn't enough room and every time I wanna go grab one pair, it like messes up the whole stack and I just feel like a better system would be to hang those up here. So, we're gonna do that. I don't have a strategy here. I saw someone do this, and I don't know how they did it. I don't know the right way to hang this. Like, do we go with that side shot? Do I see the brand label? what we've got. This doesn't look awesome. I have shorts hung up there too as well, but I think I might take the shorts off and fold them and still keep shorts on these two just because I did like how it looked with the denim down here. All right, minor shift. I found the YouTube video where I saw someone doing this and they hung these up by sort of folding the gin, the jeans, folding the jeans inward um, so that it's like the pockets facing out and then hung the front two loops on that. I think it looks a little better. Made event of this video that I'm super, super excited about are these frames that I just opened from the company Magnaframe. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this in a second, but I recently learned of this company and I think it's the coolest idea ever. I have these little frames for the Instax mini uh, little film strips, so like the pictures that you take on these, as well as I have some four by four frames and then some four by sixes. And what's really cool about these, and I'm gonna fully show you in a second, is that you only only nail one of these into the wall so any set you nail one um, and then they're magnetic so it's basically just like a very easy way to do a gallery wall or just to hang all of your photos without having to worry about like making sure everything's like even and whatever in the same height um, and it's also super convenient because you can at any time just like snap off and rearrange your gallery wall because you only have one nailed in. So I just thought this was a super cool concept um, when they reached out to me. So I'm excited to be partnering with them on this video. And they also sent some photos from my Instagram. Um, oh, Grease, what a throwback to go in my frames. And also the reason I am mostly excited about these is for the Instax frames because I have been keeping all of my little Polaroid strips in this random like sunglass box for the past long time because I don't know what to do with these. And I love taking pictures like this because it's nice to have a tangible um, photo or memory for once since everything is just digital and I'm really bad about actually printing out photos <laughs> So it's so fun to take these like for example, this is my 21st birthday There are a ton of pictures in here from that and they're just sitting in a box never being seen So it kind of defeats the purpose also RIP a lot of these have holes because in an effort to display them I've like stuck a little tack thing through these onto like bulletin boards in the past which sucks now as soon as you take it off Because um, then it's damaged but this will hopefully be a solution. Lighting is kind of dark over here, but oh, actually, <laughs> I have a light. Okay, so right when you walk in my room, I have this really cute frame. This is a super random, just like candid, actual candid photo of me and Shelby and Danielle. But so I like like having a little something on this wall as you walk into my bedroom. But this is probably something that would only bother me. But this is it doesn't show up on camera. This is like a rose gold slightly, and it's right beside all of my jewelry stuff that's like a yellow gold. I love how this doesn't show up because of this lighting, but let me tell you, this is rose gold and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to set up a little gallery wall going here. I just opened this thinking it was gonna be an informational packet. It's an instructional video. I love when brands do this. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, I need the tutorial. So you do one screw. So that's like the base piece. This is actually quite helpful. And they just snap on. Wow, I love that. Oh my gosh, more. Oh shoot, this is hype. 
So I think you guys get the point. That's what we are going for here. All right, so here is what came in one pack. Okay, so I thought I was gonna need a bunch of stuff to do this, but it turns out, so the one that has a level on the back, so you see that um, all of these do not. That is your main one that you're starting with. You don't see it from the front, so you have to look at the backs, but it's the one that has this little thing on it as well. And the top part just snaps off on all of these. So I'm just gonna screw the screw into the wall and then I can see to make sure this is level. Um, and then you just put your pictures in and snap this back on top. It came with the screws as well as two little anchors in this piece um, on another frame. So then you just take that out and then pop another pick on. So then you snap these back on and then I just hang this one. All right, so I put in six and I've just been playing around with it. It is so easy, so you can literally snap it any way you want to. You can take off one and put it anywhere. So yeah. I'm gonna hang it. All right, I open up the four by sixes and I'm gonna put some pics in that as well. We got a roommate. Hi. I was just showing her this. She loves it. It is so cool. Like, yo, I want that in my room. Dude, I don't know which ones to put. Where are you putting these? On the, on the wall. <laughs> Hopefully right it's hold. All right, so I screwed in the first piece. And now, boom. I was over like arranging all of this on my bed and then I realized that the whole point is that you can rearrange it on the wall. So we're gonna see what looks best over here. Also, this is super convenient because, especially with these little pictures, you're constantly taking them. And so then it's like your wall can just continue to grow or you can switch these out or whatever. Here is what I have come up with. I did start at the very top. So this is the one that's like on there, on there. Um, so it's probably advisable since I did use two sets to have screwed in like this one maybe like to have this fully good So if you guys would like to check out magnet frame, I'm gonna have the link below these would be really good Christmas presents I just love that you can keep building this you can switch it up whenever and now I'm gonna show you guys a few more updates to our house All right, it's Halloween time clearly moving Yeah, I know I'm so calm. <laughs> So that's serious. serious? Well, it's, all right, it's not that. It's a decorating vlog, whatever. But we are finishing decorating. We have these shelves that are under here. I'll show a picture of what they're supposed to look like. And we're gonna put one up here to put like these frames on and different things. And we never did it. So now we're going to figure that out like the technical gals we are. Please hold, we are, this box has been here since when? Since, uh, if you guys remember the vlog, yeah. when that went up, they accidentally delivered two of those and it has sat. It has sat here. What is wrong with us? <laughs> so we're gonna put it behind the couch because you know, let's continue to just let the problem live. <laughs> How do we find a stud? Should we just go for it with an anchor? Like I don't know the. That's the thing. If we're not sure, we. Oh my god. Let's go in. A few updates. So shelving a the main one that we have had for so long. I also have one for my room that I'll show you this wall in a second. I've talked about this previously. Actually, I'll just show you now. I don't know why this seems like so much more space than that does. I think just because we have the AC thing there. So this feels super blank. So I was also gonna put potentially one of those long shelves here. It'd probably go to about there. But the other issue I ran into, so I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do that here, is that it's pretty narrow on both sides of my bed. If I'm walking along here and I have a shelf out to here, I feel like I'm gonna be like hitting it. So another option was to do the shelf a little bit higher since I am 5'2", then it's not really a problem. Anyways, all of this to say, that was the vision for these shelves, so one day you guys will finally see this, I promise. It's probably just gonna be in a vlog on my vlog channel. But we do not have the power tools necessary to hang those right now because they're quite heavy and we need to like drill in and do something with anchors. The stuff I don't understand that Adrian grasps and um, one of our guy friends is gonna come over and do that at some point. Probably not before the end of the week though and trying to have this video up so it's cool. I'm gonna show you guys a few new decor things that we have going on downstairs. I also just posted a closet tour video if you wanna see all of everything that ended up happening in my closet room. So I decided I'm gonna do something with the white ones here actually. It doesn't look great right now. We're gonna rearrange as we can. Um, so now I'm moving this little gold thing over here. Um, to go between all of this. So it is good to go. I like how that looks here. And then we just have this thing over here, which I realized I need to switch out my calendar to the actual month we're in, which is November. Much better. So I'm thinking this picture I'm probably gonna put right there in the closet. 
I also randomly found this lamp in my closet that I bought for my bedroom a long time ago and then ended up not using. So I don't know if we have a reason. Adrian, mm -hmm. do you think um, we need this lamp for anything? Um, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely too late to return. So we already have a lamp down here. I don't know if I ever gave an overview of what we ended up putting on our shelves, but this is what we got. We are going to have a plant here was the plan where that little fluff thing is but um, we procrastinated for a year essentially and now we're gonna have a Christmas tree go in the middle of that and the shelves are gonna be moved far to the left because we have a pretty big tree going in the middle here. So I am gonna do a video decorating and showing how we're doing all of that coming up very soon. So look out for that. Here's the hole from our attempted uh, bar cart shelf. So we also had planned to have a plant in this corner that was kind of tall because um, we had one there and it was really short so we ended up moving it to the living room. But again, since we waited so long, I actually ordered another, like, a really skinny Christmas tree that's, like, shorter to go here. So we're just basically delaying the plant issue. Just a random really cute decor thing I got for the kitchen is this little glass, like, cookie jar. So I had cookies in this. I've had, like, pumpkin chocolate chip muffins in it. For Halloween, we decided to put in some candy corn, and that'll get switched out to probably candy canes or something for Christmas. Still, my favorite thing about my room is this. Alexa, turn on my lights. She turns on my little neon light too. Also a really cool thing we did recently was invest in these LED light strips that are supposed to go behind your TV. So we put some there and then we ended up putting them under our bar cart behind the couch and then under this bar. So if you watch our Halloween party vlog, then you already saw that, but um, yeah, basically super cool at night in here. I'll include a shot from that, but when it's dark, this makes for like the best movie watching lighting. You can change the color. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a comment below. Also, I am gonna be doing Vlogmas over on my vlog channel. So if you're wondering about that, make sure you go subscribe. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed. I love these videos because they don't require me wearing anything fancy and I just get to stay at home in leggings. Make sure you go check out my socials below and I will see all of you guys in my next video. I'm